hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add activity view in odo 15 so currently in the screen you are seeing odo 15 community edition where we are continuing our odo 15 development tutorials so in this video we will be discussing about how to create an activity view so you may think what is an activity view so if i go to an existing module maybe we can go to the sales module itself and here you can see this is list view so we already have learned how to add list view and at the last one here you can see once i place the mouse over that you can see its activity and if i click on that you will be getting such a view so this is called as activity view in odo so in the url view type equal to activity so what this view will do is that it will show all the activities from the corresponding records like if we have sale orders here and inside sale orders here we can add or schedule activities so those scheduling activities it will be showing in that activity view so what we will be doing in this video is we will be going into the hospital and then to the appointments we will be adding the activity view for the appointments in our module so if i open any of the appointments we already have added the scheduled activity feature that is by inheriting mail activity mixing we already have added this functionality in our model so once we create records using schedule activity that will be showing inside the activity view so let's see how we can add such a view here inside our appointment so first of all i'll go to the pie charm and here we have our custom add-ons that is om hospital and we have to do inside xml so there is nothing to do inside python side and i'll open appointment view so here you can see this is appointment menu this is the action currently we have three comma form and we have defined an empty search and this is the appointment form view and this is appointment tree so we have to define an appointment activity view so i'll copy this i'll copy the tree view and i will put it over here and i'll rename instead of appointment tree i'll put appointment activity because i'm creating activity view i'll copy this instead of tree i'll put here and i'll remove these things and you have to give activity tag and i'll remove so simply we have added an empty activity view so this is the base syntax id you give a unique id model ir.ui view give a name hospital appointment activity model is hospital.appointment field name arc type xml and activity now what we have to do we have to add the activity in the corresponding action so even though we have defined the activity view and if we haven't given inside the menu action it will not be shown so we have to add comma activity so i'm saying we need to call activity view also in the menu action so that is done now what we have to do we have to define this view or let's add an empty view and see what happens so simply i have defined an empty activity view and added it in the corresponding menu action so let's go to the ui and let's upgrade the module so i'll duplicate this tab and i will upgrade om hospital module so you can see there is error because i think as it is empty invalid view as it is empty i think the error is coming so we have to add something inside that view so i think we cannot load an empty activity view so what i will do i'll navigate to odo source code and let me take a sample so if i search for activity activity you can get samples from odo module so here you can see a lot of sample so what i will do i'll copy a sample from yeah let it be so i'll copy this sample activity control c so i'm copying an existing sample from fleet module which one fleet cost yeah so i'll go to the fleet module so i have taken a sample from the fleet module and maybe from fleet cost you know fleet contracts or contracts a similar we have copied and i will put it inside 
vehicle contracts you can see vehicle contracts this one we have copied and i'll put inside our hospital module copied control c and i'll put it here instead of activity empty view will be pasting the template that we have copied and here i will name it as appointments instead of vehicle contracts appointments given the string as appointments then you have to define a field name so what i'll do we have inside appointment model appointment model we have patient so i'll copy the patient and i'll put field name patient because we need to show the patient right or the value that we have to show here we have to see so or you can put which one if i go to the hospital appointments you can either put a reference we have a reference for the appointment you can give that one i'll give rough that one which which is this field name rough so i'll give rough here then inside activity box image we have to show an image so i'll show the partner image so partner image is partner model is hospital hospital dot patient hospital dot patient which is the partner field inside partner we have an image field i have to get value from this so what i'm going to do is that we will be showing appointment name first so if i take fleet fleet contract activity view first i will show here i have to show partner image of that appointment so i'm doing image from partner field image from partner model record order. record will be appointment and inside appointment i have patient id so i'll copy that and i'll put it here record dot patient id raw value in t att title also you have to give the same patient id dot value here also you have to give same thing <coughs> so we have done that now here what we have to do we have to show or i'll put the rough here inside here i will put a rough and here i will put patient id so let's see how we get patient id and i think we have done simply we have defined a field patient id those fields that we are using inside we have to give here then i'll add rough here then activity image hospital dot patient image field and let's see what happens if i upgrade the module now so let me go to the ui and from the apps menu i'll be upgrading the om hospital module so i hope yeah there is no errors now and if i go to the appointments here you can see we have activity view and if i click on that you can see we are getting all the appointments like this so here you can see these are the reference of appointment that is if i refresh these and if i come to the hospital then to the appointments this reference is showing here as a unique value of appointment so for this appointment one two three so let me take one two three appointment appointment with reference one two three where is appointment with reference one two three yes this one so here you can see we have an email that is what it show here so let me schedule and call for this activity schedule a call call it or i'll put summary call for discussion and i will set due date as april 6th save then it will be appearing over here so if you refresh you can see call on april 6th so once i done that i can mark it as done from here done then you can see call finished and if you refresh here call for discussion done it's done today so this is the working of activity suppose if i need to add one activity from here you can see you have schedule activity option schedule i need to assign for this appointment click on that which activity upload that document uh, operation certificate operation certificate schedule so scheduled for that uploading document and if you refresh you will be seeing here 
operation certificate upload document the activity is created so this is the working of activity view in odoo simply we have to do we have to define a view of with activity tag and inside this template we will be defining the view and all the fields that we use inside this template we have to declare here then inside template we added t div t name activity box we have given the image of the patient and for the display we have given only the reference so this is how we can define activity view in odoo so simply like this don't forget to add it in the corresponding action here we can see we have added activity and once you upgrade you will be getting the result as like this so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel press the bell icon and do have a comment it will be a great support for us to reach more subscribers. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.